Hello YouTube, I'm PCJ Law and welcome back to this Civilization 5 game where we're playing a domination victory on Deity as the Huns on quick speed. Now, in the previous part of this series, we played the early game and in this part of the series, we're now going to be playing the mid game and we're going to do an in-depth walkthrough of the mid game as part of this video. Now, what's important to know about the mid game as opposed to early game is a rather unloved period of the game, but one that's also fairly easy to get wrong. And this, in this one, we'll be showing how we're going to be recovering from having captured three AI cities on deity difficulty on quick speed, no less. Um, and transitioning that into a fully fledged proper empire that's capable of going on and winning the game in the late game. Now, as we said in the last episode, the reason why we're not going to be carrying on doing domination through all of the ages in this game is because there are eight civs on our map. And on quick game pace, you're simply not going to be able to kill everybody in time before the like fifth, sixth and seventh civilizations just get too strong for your units to handle. Essentially, you need to be making sure to keep it to keep up in tech, keep up in tech and keep up in growth. And so that's why we're taking a quick break for a moment. And we're now going to just take stock of our empire, improve it and, and build a really solid foundation. Now, what's quite good is that in the last part of this series, we sent internal food caravans between Attila's Court and Lublin before we even went and did any conquering of Ethiopia. And that has meant that we have a really strong base of cities in Attila's Court and Lublin. And right as we're entering what I would usually call the growth window of the empire, which is turn 60 to turn 120, is when you want your empire to be growing its cities just hugely like that. And we are two turns away from enabling it with civil service. Now we're on 36 population right now. I would usually be aiming for 50 plus on a five city empire by turn 100. So that's really what we're looking to achieve. Are we going to get our next 14 population points in the next 27 turns? I think we're going to do an awful lot better than that. And that is down to Attila's Court and Lublin being so good because we sent those internal food trade routes to each other. If we didn't, then we would be in a much worse state than we are now. And it's also quite important because, because we've been sending those internal food trade routes, we built all these units. And actually, Attila's Court and Lublin are doing pretty well. They're a little bit behind on buildings, but you know what? They're doing pretty well and they are absolutely ready. We're currently building Colosseum here and then a circus. And then we were building a caravan over here in Lublin and then a stable. And the idea really behind the Colosseum and the Circus is we're on 10 happiness right now. And only right at the end of the previous episode did we really sort our happiness by allying Antwerp. And so we're just trying to make sure that we've got a good base of happiness to really grow into. So we can start annexing Harar and then Lalibela. Harar is actually a pretty good city. And while Harar is building good buildings, it really doesn't make too much sense for us to probably does make some sense for us to annex it actually because it does already have six citizens it could be working better tiles than it is now especially because it's working this one <laughs> this one merchant slot which really is not what we need and it's got good buildings it's got it's coliseum it's circus it's granary it's aqueduct it's got good buildings if we annex it we're not in a bad place we're going to annex it then build a courthouse and then see what we can do lalabella is going to need some work lalabella is not doing well it has a market again because why not i guess but nothing else and so we might need to give Lalibella some help. I would like to, once we've gotten civil service, I'm tempted, I mean, we do need to go to, tempted to hit compass. We also need to hit metal casting and we need to hit education. So I wonder if we go for civil service, then metal casting, education, compass, and then see what happens. Because we really could use that fourth internal food trade route because we do kind of need to send another one to our capital. If we've got a granary anywhere that can do it, which we don't. There's a granary. Is there a granary in Harar? There is a granary in Harar. So we might send the caravan from Harar to our capital. Always aim to get two internal food trade routes to capital. A minimum two to three is usually best. We've only got one right now, so we need a second. And then when this one to Lublin is done, we will send the Lublin one to either Lalibella or Addis Ababa, and then the fourth one will go to the one that hasn't gotten any love yet. Lalibella's going to need some help, otherwise it's going to be really bad. But it's a fifth city, we took it just for fun. We can buy this Mount Kilimanjaro tile just as soon as we annex it. That's going to help, and hopefully it can improve when it gets some of these civil service farm tiles along the river. It's not great, but you know what? It was free, because <laughs> we took it at the end of last episode, so there's always that. Anyway, let's get back to it. The first thing I wanted to do been looking around some of the AIs to see what we want to do for this and Arun Al Rashid will declare war on Poland for one silver so let's give him a copper 
Probably need to give him a little bit more. Wanted open borders. I don't mind giving it away for that. We've got a declaration of war on Poland. Essentially, Poland is our neighbour, and if we kill anyone next before the late game stage, Poland looks like a good target. Warsaw has only got 24 combat strength, even though it has a wall. Warsaw looks like, and it's right close to our cities, it looks ripe for an attack. We can't really justify it now because Poland is strong. But if Poland is weakened from fighting Byzantium and Arabia, then maybe. They've got eight cities, so let's keep an eye on and see what they do. They're only going to get weaker through the game as well because they've taken honor. So they're not tradition. They're not liberty. They're only going to get weaker. And the Temple of Artemis and the Statue of Zeus might be here, actually. I think that's them right here, Artemis and Zeus. These two little buildings just on the outskirts of Warsaw. Could be a thing to take. Probably. The only problem is it's probably a bit... Because we've done early war, we may not manage crossbows. We'll see. We might still be able to do a good crossbowman push against Poland. And if we can, we could maybe take Warsaw. However, we might it, we might just find that we need to recover a bit too much from our early war. The other thing we did here, by the way, by only going two cities before we went for horse archers and catapults, that's why our empire is so strong now. If we'd gone for three cities, Attila's court would have lost a lot of time. It wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to be quite as good as it currently is. And that was actually really important for the success of that endeavor. Work this. It's going to become a civil service farm tile in one turn. Could also do with border expanding to this silver at some point. And let's keep scouting. Could do with some open borders. Do you want to keep exploring? Exploring is important. If nothing else... Man, that is an expensive open borders, but we're going to have to do it. Exploring is important, if nothing... And we'll just put this on auto-explore, because it's not really that important now. But exploring is important, if nothing else, because if we find natural wonders, they give you plus one happiness for your empire. So, always good. And then keep improving these pastures, because they give us an extra production, because we're the hunt. And we've even got... We've even got culture from pastures here, which is going to really help with our culture issue that we might start having. This caravan is done. Can it be sent from Harar to our capital? Food available, Harar to Attila's court, yes. So we will send it to Harar here and then send it back to Attila's court next turn. Hang on, we need to sleep this horse archer in Attila's court. Should probably, Harar's building a monument, so we don't, we, we'd, we'd be building a monument next anyway, so we don't yet need to annex Harar, though we really should. We do have the happiness for it and we can make it work on better tiles. So you know what? Let's let's annex Hurrah. Let's do this. So Hurrah's now in the Empire. Work our horse tiles first, where we can. And then I would love to work one... I mean, we're working our one production tile here, so let's just work these bananas. It's going to reduce the production of the city quite a lot. But actually, we're ahead of our production queue here. Monument, courthouse, and then this city's kind of caught up. Because it's got a workshop. What? We've got we've captured a city with a workshop. Didn't even realise that we have the terracotta army. <laughs> sure, why not? No, no um. <laughs> Sadly, no world wonders in Lalibella. We'd also like to annex Lalibella. That's going to cause us three unhappiness. So we're going to go down to four. But then we can also start working good stuff here. It's building a caravansary, so. We kind of have to. Let's, so let's get this annexed as well. Buy it, Mount Kilimanjaro. I mean, this is the best tile for us to work right now, really. Stop what? Stop building this. Let's get... It's got enough tiles for the moment. So why don't we? Uh, we need a courthouse desperately, but we also need a granary and an aqueduct. So let's just do that. And let's get a courthouse and a monument in there somewhere, somehow. City's going to be bad for a while. It is what it is. We knew that. Anyway, we've got civil service, by the way. So look at this. Let's move this over. It loses a food, but gets us two production. So that seems well worth it. Look at this. And then in here as well. Look at this. Here, look at this. Looks pretty good. Here's great. Here is, yeah, here's what it is. We need to get some civil service farms up in the city. The Lalibella is going to be basically living off of the tiles that we improve for it to work. We can't get it enough improved tiles to work. Lalibella is going to be doomed. So why don't we go and get it some? Let's cross the river. 
and then try and improve this bison and a civil service farm. Probably chopping down this forest on the way. In fact, we'll chop down all three of these forests for that libella to get through its production queue faster. And we will send this caravan to Attila's court for food. I know that libella probably needs it right now, but we need to make sure we grow our capital. So that is main point number one. We need to grow our capital, so we're going to work on that. At the end of the day, our fifth city is what it is. It's there for fun. <laughs> now, we've got our first... Don't need to open... Oh, we, did. we could take open borders with Poland, actually. I don't mind that. And somehow, Montezuma has decided he wants to maybe trade with us. Can we get this trade away? Yes, we can. He likes us now. Yay! And we're going to put our spy that we've just got immediately into Antwerp. Now, the reason we're doing this, putting our spy immediately into... We've got We Love the King Days in, in Attila's Court and Lublin. Oh my god, I didn't even realise that was the case. We Love the King Days are really cool, by the way, because you get a growth bonus in your city. What's it equal to? Increases growth. 25% for We Love the King Day is absolutely nuts. Like That's a meaningful amount. 25% extra, extra growth. Remember, it's not 25% extra food, because that is the reason why Swords into Plowshares, the religious tenor, is not quite so great, because it's a bonus to growth not food and growth is your excess food so growth is this difference here we've got between what do we have here on our city we need we need the 26 food from our 13 population in our city so that's the minus 26 that we're seeing in the top top left just up there um growth is the difference between the minus 26 and the actual food that we're producing so in this case i think it's the, like the 42 or something um, but growth is that difference food is the whole number so if in this case 42 was like the total food that we're getting from our city food is the 42 growth is the difference between 42 and 26 but 25 percent growth is a lot because <laughs> swords and supply shares is not great because it's only growth but it's like 10 percent growth or something like that but 25 percent growth on the other hand it's pretty good aral has got our religion <laughs> so i'm sorry i'm sorry ethiopia <laughs> but also i'm really not <laughs> I would really like to work these production tiles just a little bit. We're a little bit short on food in Addis Ababa. But we don't have any... I was about to say we don't have any civil service farms to what we do. Let's work, Let's get working some civil service farms now. It's, it's good. We don't really want to be working this two food, two production tile. Like, a little bit better this way. And then we'll get ourselves a stoneworks and then it will make that stone worth working. But we need to... We actually don't really need to focus on happiness that much right now. We're going to grow here and it might be worth keeping a production tile going now. But also we can keep working these civil service farm tiles for a bit. Lublin grew. Yeah, we need to get working on some more improved tiles in Lublin. Yeah, we're a little bit short on workers in Lublin because they were, they were sent across to Attila's court. But they don't really need to do anything more here so they can go back to Lublin now. And then we'll go in here and finally improve this. So that's 12 happiness. Yeah, we really don't need any more happiness. Let's get that stoneworks first. It's also one happiness. And I think the rest of this is okay. Well, we might as well build the circus in the capital. Though, I was I would build a stables, but it's only one. There's two tiles that we're going to benefit from the stable. So let's get that in. Maybe we should get a little bit of faith. Because <laughs> I guess we've got a religion now. <laughs> And let's move on. But yeah, the thing about the spy. So we put the spy into Antwerp. The reason we've done that is because, yes, you could take your spy. You could put it in the biggest AI capital of Asa or maybe Tenochtitlan because maybe it's got a bit more likelihood to get even bigger because of the Aztec special ability. We could do that, but stealing, stealing takes would make it faster, but our empire basically depends on Antwerp right now for all of its happiness. And if we put a spy in Antwerp, Antwerp is our ally for the rest of the game. And we can use this food trade route that we would have to send to Antwerp to keep up our allyship. We can now send this trade route for food to our own cities instead. So this is why we're doing it. We're just, um, we're basically saving ourselves from having to keep working on an alliance with Antwerp. And going, going ahead and just chucking our spy in there instead. And that's a valuable way to use it. Would really like to keep working food. I mean, we're plus 36 now, so we don't really need it. So maybe it's good to leave it like this. And hurrah, grew. Would be nice just to keep working a little bit more food here. We'll transition. One, one, two, three, four, five. 
So you are working five three plus food tiles right now. Would like to get up to at least six in Hurrah before we start transitioning over. And it should really be the same in Addis Ababa. We're working one, two, three, only three three plus food tiles in Addis Ababa right now. And it would be good to get up to six. So let's do this instead. And now at least we're up to four. And then in Lalibella, we are going to just, we're going to chop this and build ourselves a civil service farm. And that's going to help Lalibella grow. This person's done. So let's chop down some more forest around Lalibella because it really needs help. And this worker can come head towards Lublin to give it some assistance too. Now Lublin's working one, two, three, four, five for three plus food tiles. It needs another one. And that's because we've been neglecting it with workers. But we'll chop down this forest and then we'll, we'll build a civil service farm there. And here in Attila's Court, going to border grow to the silver, but we're not desperate for it. So we'll just keep improving some tiles around here. We're going to need to work them at some point. Got some allyship with Vancouver. Well, we got some influence with Vancouver. We're friends right now, but it's not worth keeping up that friendship because Vancouver's hostile. Hostile city-states have their influence drop far too quickly, essentially. The, we've got friendly Antwerp whose influence drops at minus 1.25 per turn. Vancouver drops at minus 1.87. It's a lot. It's not really it's really not worth your effort to try and hold on to hostile city states. In fact, if you have a friendly and or normal city state, one spy in there will keep your influence at least where it is or grow it. If you put it in hostile city state, I don't even know that it's enough. Anyway, let's keep moving on. And then we'll maybe revisit how that war is going. How now Rashid seems to want horses. We paid to start a war. And that started a market for the horses that we have in excess. Apparently this fellow really doesn't want to buy horses for that much. So I think we'll only sell one and hold on to it. Get back to working the stone. So we, we've got a lot of tiles we need to work around Lublin or improve around Lublin. It is starting to have some issues. We'll build a shrine again because it seems like shrine time. We do have a religion now. Sorry, Ethiopia, after all. And let's go and build this camp for an extra production and keep doing this. Down to six turns for this granary now in Lalibella. Need to keep improving civil service farms in Addis Ababa. I'm aware we've got this little road network going on, but hey, it lets us travel faster, so not going to complain. Any other civil service farms to be improved here? I don't think so. So next is probably just making sure we have an okay 50-50 production tile. So that's a, like a production tile that supplies us a little bit of food. So we're going to go put a lumber mill down on this tile here for hurrah. Because that's going to help then. It's going to stop us from being too bad in terms of food. Let's see how this war is going. Not really a lot. I want to get a scout into these lands. So we might. This scout is on auto explore doing who knows what. I pressed auto explore on it and I think it might just run south. Where's it gone? No, the other one's run over here. So we'll take that scout and explore Poland's territory. Now our capital is working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven three plus food tiles. It would be nice to just work a couple more. I think. So let's do that. So that takes us up to eight now. So it's going to be growing like an absolute steam truck. And you know what? Let's just work all of these that we've got. And then just start focusing production after that. I work in a stable, but the workshop is a much more valuable building to the point where we really probably ought to be switching to workshops in all of our cities. If we don't desperately need this happiness, we'll do the workshop there as well. Got a workshop here and a workshop here would not go amiss. Because we are behind in the production queue. Ra keeps being our religion, fine. And now we can push for... We'd like education, and we are going to be able to get some unis out in some of our cities. So, we'll go for that. That's worth it. Not worth going for... Like, education's a good science boost. It's a good science boost. But if you've got other really important buildings like workshops to build, it's not really worth grabbing education for universities until your workshop's done. Ideally, you build your workshops before you build your universities. Because that will improve your city's production it makes sure that everything's kind of good workshops are a much much better building than you expect well Harun al rashid's losing ground to assyria i did not realize that they were at war with assyria did that happen while i wasn't looking i guess so 
Sissy needs to improve big time. Okay. Just work a random two food, zero production tile for the moment. Let's get this scout to get into Warsaw. And let's see what's what. I also would like to have a look at Venice. Yep, down to two turns now by chopping this forest down. Poland's plotting against us. Are they really Venice? I mean, actually, you know, I believe it. I believe it. Sure, we'll do open borders now for a bit. Oh, really? Everyone's plotting against me. Are they Poland? I feel like Poland's plotting against us. But they're at war with Arabia right now. If we need to go crossbows, we'll go crossbows. Warsaw is a really juicy target that is just looking at us. Like, Warsaw is just standing here being like, please take me. That's what I'm seeing from Warsaw right now. We've grown here. I mean, why not? I guess that iron tile is probably the best place to go. Yeah, why not? Seems like as good a spot as any. Alice Ababa grows. Need to keep working civil service farms here. So there's another one. So let's work it. We're up to one, two, three, four, five tiles with three plus food on it. So one, at least one more before we start dropping stuff on production. Here we've got two and I didn't realize. So let's work that. Four, five, six. Working six here now. So that might be as good as we need. Work a seventh. And then we'll start letting everything else drop onto some mixed tasks. Look at that. Three food, three production, one culture. So good. We need to clear this marsh for another civil service farm in Lublin. And let's chop down this forest here. Good. Lalabella gets some production. Lalabella's going to struggle to grow because it doesn't have an aqueduct. Aqueducts are one of the big reasons why tradition is so good. Because the free aqueducts really like ramp up your growth rate. Silver and incense with Enrico Dandolo ended. We'll get that back. Saluti. Courthouse is done here. That's excellent. We've got our workshop. So only one horse tile. So no need to prioritize a stable. Would like a water mill if we can get a shrine. Because we do actually have a religion. And then we'll try and fit a water mill into this build queue somewhere. Need improved tiles around here. So let's head back. Farm's completed. So we have ourselves a civil service farm now, which is a tile that's more worth it to work than this wine. Get this silver improved. Wanted to build a lumber mill here, but we'll benefit from clearing a civil service farm for Lublin. Another civil service farm here for Addis Ababa. Let's go improve more. And chop this down. We'll just start spamming civil service farms around Lalibella. And hopefully it will get good. I met Bogota. So hello Bogota. Work on this workshop now. We can purchase something with Faith. What's, what's available for 32 Faith? Oh, we've got unit buying for Faith. I mean... I guess that means we can buy a scout or something. What can we buy for Faith? I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Lalabella grew, Harar grew, Addis Ababa grew, Lublin grew. All five of our cities grew on the same turn. That's pretty cool. That doesn't mean our, our happiness is actually doing okay as well. We've, we're in the workshop slot here. Don't like it. But we don't have anywhere better. Well, we can, We could start working. We don't need to be in the workshop slot, so let's just work some food. I actually finished the water mill. Get a temple. Keep doing the whole... Could do with a market. Could do with a mint. Because we are working the silver. Let's get a mint. Why not? Put more farms. We now have this lumber mill, which means that we do have a tile that we can work for production that's got a little bit of food on it. And that's quite nice to have. And then let's just improve some more farms. Oh, here we go. That didn't take long. 
Could we, we? We got plus 20. We don't really need any more than plus 20 food, so that's okay. Kinda need a heal here in Lalabella. And I've just bought a grassland tile. <laughs> yeah. We're really focusing on growth. We're in the growth window. Turn 60 to turn 120. So we need to be focusing on growth. So we will focus on growth. Aztec Settler, what is it doing here? Who knows? Who knows? We need a guild. Let's get a guild in quickly. Build a load of civil service farms here. Keep building civil service farms. No scout enters Warsaw. Not really a lot to see. Composite bowman and a musketman. Okay. He's built Hameji Castle. <laughs> so much for the idea of going after it with crossbowmen. He's got Hameji Castle now. That's a defensive wonder that will make that city pretty hard to take. We seem to have one filler policy here before we open rationalism. Ideally, we do rationalism straight away. The question is, what do we take? Don't want to take two filler policies. So the question is, what is the best one to take when we're opening just the one? Patronage for city-states would be okay. But we're probably not going to be doing city-states that much. Piety would help us churn out some faith. But I don't really think we get a lot from this religion. What does it have? Yeah, culture and pastures. There are cathedrals available. Just war. I think maybe we'd get cathedrals, but it doesn't really seem like it's worth investing loads into that. That would help us get shrines and temples out faster, which is a nice bonus. This might be one of these days where it's commerce or aesthetics. We'll do aesthetics just in case we go a bit further in it later. We're not aiming for a culture victory, but aesthetics will still help with our people generation. And that's just in general quite a valuable thing to do. Our culture will be a lot better that way. Kind of surprised that settler didn't settle for the natural wonder. Keep working some of these three food tiles for a bit. Mint's done here. Universities now. We'll build a university after we build this writer's guild here. Where else should we get a university? Sababa. Squeeze a university in before... Uh, after. Because we might need the happiness. Here we'll squeeze a university in after the water mill. Can't actually go before. And here it will be. <laughs> it will It will be. <laughs> we'll see. We need this extra food trade route pretty desperately. But we can enter the Renaissance era potentially on... Yeah, all of these have been taken, so we've got no hope for a wonder. We could go for compass and then enter on banking. It's going to be a while before we get our next social policy. And our research will jump up quite a lot. He's got trebuchets. Where's best to work here? Probably to improve this iron to make Lublin better. We're just checking that we don't have any better tiles to work, and we'll move on. We're going pretty... We're pretty good now. We're up to 55 population. So we said that the goal was like at least 55 pop if we've got five cities. An average of 10 per city by turn 100. We are already at 57 and it's turn 86. In fact, we have grown 21 population points in the 13 turns <laughs> since we started off the save from here today. So the growth window in action. It's really, really, really valuable. Another pop point here in Addis Ababa. We've got our stoneworks now, so let's work our stone. We've got another civil service farm. So let's work our civil service farm. We're now working six three plus food tiles here in Addis Ababa, so we're doing better. And we've got plenty of production, which is great. Do I keep observing this war, which clearly isn't going... I mean, it's only not going well for Arabia, because Arabia is also under attack by Assyria. This was the food trade route to Lublin, which we don't need to be sending anymore. In fact, this very desperately needs to be either food or production to Lalibella. 
So we'll send it as food to Lalibella, but we can't reach from here, so we'll send it from Lublin. Probably because there's no road. She wants me to join in a war with Poland. Theodora, I would, I would love... How's he back? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hayley Selassie, where have you come from? <laughs> Just so you're aware, the other leaders have now heard the grim truth about you. Hayley Selassie! You'll pay for this in time. Where are you? Hayley Selassie has been liberated by Harun al-Rashid. Where? Hold on a minute. How are you back? Bloodthirsty one, blood one shows his face. And what business does he have with me? I thought I'd killed... I did not... I didn't even realise you had a four city, okay? In fact, maybe I did and I didn't notice. <laughs> what do you want for it? One gold per turn. That's pretty cheap. Seemingly, you don't hate me that much. So wh where are you? Where are you? Adwa! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot this. this city existed. Well, cool, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, you know what? We've got, we've got your, we've got your capital, Ethiopia. We've got, we've got your capital. You can sit there in silence. Let's work this like that. Very nice. We need to be working a little bit of production here. We can't just be working all food. I can't believe that. Okay, grow. Go. Wants to buy my gold. I, I think that's a really quite poor price to pay Ethiopia. <laughs> he wants to kill Theodore as well. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna trade your truffles instead of killing Theodore, I'm more than happy. got a compass so we can get another caravan can build it in Lublin too why not it's got a really short build key. Lublin is really good gonna work this last last three plus food tile here and then we'll just let the rest of these pot points drop on production we need a mint here but we do need to fill our guild slots so we'll work the two university slots and then we'll take these off and we'll work two writers guild slots so the idea with working slots is that your city really needs to be working at least 10 of its tiles which have a combined three or more of food and production before it's viable to work your guild slots and ideally you need at least six to eight of those to be three plus in food otherwise your city is going to struggle too much um, so what we've got here is because we're already working one two three four five six seven eight nine tiles with three plus food on it and we're working what 10 11 12 13 14 tiles overall or even 15 tiles overall i guess um that have three plus food and production combined on them we are okay to be working our guild slots here in our capital see what it's done to our growth though we're down at plus 27 now this is why you often need to send two or three food trade routes to your capital this can go down here and get us another civil service farm should we build the mint before the water mill Got to focus on growth and production, so I don't think there's any need to do that. Keep. I guess we'll chop down another forest near Lalibella. And would like to buy a hill for... Produ oh! Marble! We need gold. Venice! Hi! We weren't thinking about killing you earlier, but we like you now. We can't get anything from you. Alas! Goodbye, Venice! <laughs> oh, we need gold. We'll get more gold soon. We'll build this mint. And then we'll get gold. We'll probably send a third food trade route to Attila's court. Maybe so that we can work some of the gold mines there as well. The city's doing well. Out of Sapaba. Keep working those civil service farms, please. Could work this one now. Why not? Doesn't seem like a bad idea. We're now working one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three plus food tiles here. So we're nearly up to the famous, like, well, not famous, but the figure, the figure that we're aiming for. 
You do. Drop this down. And I actually need to improve that copper. I haven't really improved the copper because it really doesn't feel important to us to do it yet because we don't need it for any luxury trades, so though we might be able to sell it to someone later. Workshop's done everywhere. He just wants one copper, so no. We'll give that... I'll tell you what we can do. We can trade it for a load of gold now. So we need to do this salt deal with Theodora. Oh, really? You don't want to do that, don't do now. You want lots. We do kind of have to pay it because we do... Oh, whoa. What do you want? Open borders as well. Get away with it, like giving away a little less. No. Okay. That seems like quite a high price to pay. That was always likely going to happen in a situation where we'd done war with some civs. Some civs were going to hate us because of the diplomatic penalty you get for being a warmonger. Some civs were always going to hate us, really. And again, we're working 40, well, 13 tiles with 12 tiles with 3 plus combined of food and production on. So we can afford to work on university here. But we need to improve some tiles here fast. So let's lock this one with the intent of going to improve it next turn. Caravan's done. Get a garden. Get a forge. We've got a stable. I mean, a forge is more production. A market is more gold. And we are working gold. Because we've, because <laughs> we've built a mint here. It's not often that I build a mint, so let's get a market. And here, this is actually the best tile to work right now. We don't have any more here. Hurrah's doing good. Let's keep going. Whoa, units. Okay. We need her to be at war with Poland some more. Like a lot more. Should probably connect Lalibella up to our road network in a minute. That'll be part of the reason why. What are we going to do with you? Kind of didn't need to send this as a trade route somewhere. Could do with sending one to the cap. So we need that. But we could also do with just growing Addis Ababa could be really good for us. Hurrah is really good for us. I think we send this to Addis Ababa because it's got a load of good tiles that can be worked. One of the big benefits of killing an AI early is that you get two capitals. And capitals get better land than expansions do. That's why the game has a bit of an algorithm to place them there. So capitals do always get better land. So if you've got two capitals, grow the second capital and make use of it. Why not? Well, when this grows next turn, we will drop this on a on the food tile that's there. And then we'll use the banking trade route to send the third one to Attila's court. Haddis Ababa. This city is going to be so good. keep scouting don't really know what to do here now got another great tile to work I mean the best we can do is this need to get that marble that's going to be pretty good building a mint our mint is finally done we're going to build two mints oh is he really trying to sneak attack I mean he might actually be sneak attacking us there's some units here though Lots of people don't like us. I was wondering about whether or not we should have paid the Aztecs to war of Syria. And the answer might have been we should have done that. Question is, what can we do now? We've got plus 11 gold. So that's positive. Goes to plus 7. Can we, or should we, pay for a war between these two? I think the answer is, if we can, we should. Syria wants horses. So we might have a bit more luck the other way around. Yes, six gold per turn and some silver, which we can actually do. But we could also get rid of some horses instead. There we go. So that's a war. It's quite nice. We've got some friends there giving us some diplomatic information. Now, do I think that there was a war coming between either from Assyria on us or Aztecs on us? Don't know. But we definitely don't need it and we can't afford to dodge it. So, good for us. Fine. <laughs> Take the extra gold per turn. Build a market here because we might as well. Oh, we need a garden. And we need an artist guild, so we'll build an artist guild. 
need a forge here because the extra one production will be helpful at this point. Let's keep scouting. Poland's got a city here. Can't believe Ethiopia got liberated. Really can't believe that. <laughs> How? I thought they were gone for good. Thought they were gone for good. What can we do here? Horse trades, maybe. I mean, Harun Al Rashid, we know, doesn't really like us, but we need to get Byzantium back into war with Poland. That was really good for us before. We're not going to get it yet, but you never. Know. If we get some more gold per turn, you never know what we'll be able to get later. Let's get Lalabella connected to our road network now. It's about time. And this back to Attila's Court. Yes, please. Okay, we're at pop 20 in Attila's Court now. Pop 20, anything, anytime you get above pop 20 by turn 100 in your capital, that's also a goal to aim for. So I'm really pleased we've got that too. This city is nuts. We have a mint here. We do. Well, <laughs> sure, we'll take four gold for one production. <laughs> Why not? And hurrah has grown as well. Yeah, there's not real, no real better tiles to work here. We do need to get it some more food. But there are no real better tiles to work yet. I mean, if we work more, f we can start switching some of these four food tiles from one side to the other here. And then that will give us some more to work in. Hurrah. Now we're going to propose the World's Fair. Because everyone loves the World's Fair. It's a great and easy way to make sure that everyone in the game stays on your side. No need to overthink proposing, proposing anything else. It never passes. So we'll go World's Fair. We're suddenly down to no happiness. That was to be expected. Antwerp's still our friend as well. Yeah, I mean, it's good. The problem is, is that we're on 69. Nice population and turn 93. Remember, we're aiming for 50. Like 55 is also pretty good. 69. And it's not even turn 100 yet. Lalibella not having a courthouse is hurting. Harad does have a courthouse. And we could probably start working uni slots here as well. Just. Because we've got 12 citizens working 3 plus food tiles here. So that's just about right. And then in here, probably... I mean, we're, there's just too many good tiles here. Absolutely too many good tiles to be working university slots yet in Addis Ababa. Let's get connected to the road network. Lollibella's about to make us unhappy. Good. Suits our interests. Nice. I mean, if we can get some gold per turn, we can get this marble... So let's do that now. How much gold do we need? 32. Let's get some gold off our Venice ally. Salute. 37. No. Uh, I don't... Uh, this is, that's one for 21, isn't it? So we need two for 40, like three or something or 42. No. Okay, there we go. And that'll buy us this tile. So we can improve it next turn. Remove that. Road, road. That'll improve our gold situation. Has made us unhappy. It is unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, not really a lot we can do now apart from trying to get to buying our religious building, the cathedral. So maybe let's get... I mean, we need a garden here, so we'll get garden. And then we'll see what's what later on. We could be transitioning all of our cities over to be working max production while we're unhappy. Never a bad thing to do. Okay, everyone likes our proposal. That's good. Making the AIs like us. Everyone thinks Montezuma's plotting against me. And they're probably right. But, and he's pretty good. We're happy again. That's because we finished our circus. Nice. Do you have anything else for happiness? The answer is no. We need a stable here. That's what we need. We've got like three resources that will benefit from that. So let's get a stable. 
And then over here, we just finished the Artist Guild, which means we need to start working a bit more. Build the guilds. If you want to work the guilds, we're going to have to take off some food now. Cap needs another. Cap desperately needs another caravan. Bablum is building a garden. Get me a caravan. And in the capital, that frees us time to actually build this market for some more gold. And then we'll maybe focus on gardens after that. We can now just start moving on our beeline towards scientific theory. Fairly straightforward. Um, the ironworks is a kick-ass building. So let's go and get the tech for the ironworks first. Flip this around over here. Which might then allow Hurrah to work a slightly better tile. Yeah. Okay, and we can fix that quarry. That will allow us to keep growing a bit. We are having happiness issues, but it's only because we've got so much population. We're going to be at endgame population potentially really soon. We've got 70 already. Okay, we've got a great writer. Little tip for great writers. Don't need to bulb them right away. Um, great writers give you culture equal to something like the last five turns worth of culture or something close to that. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to wait until you're, you've been out a really high amount of culture for, say, five turns, and then you want to bulb your writer for that culture because the amount of culture they give you varies on the last few turns. Some great people, the things that they give you are locked to the amount you were generating when they spawned. Some great people have their stuff adapt um, as your empire like gets bigger and, and does more. And great writers are one of the ones, much like great scientists, are one of the ones that adapts and increases and decreases as your, as your empire generates more or less of whatever that thing was focusing on. So we can save our great writer and we always want to save at least one great writer because it means we can time when we get our rationalism finisher. It gives you a free technology when you finish rationalism. That's right at the end of the game. So a sneaky end game tip is, well, if you finish rationalism and you accidentally have to take like a one turn tech somewhere down here at like dynamite, that's really rubbish. But if you finish it so that you can take a one turn tech that's nanotechnology, saves you a ton of turns. So just a small little tip there, a reason to save your great writer um, on top of your great scientists. More civil service farms on both sides of the river. Prove this quarry. Venice has a legionary. Sure. We're unhappy again. That was going to happen. It's because La Libella hasn't built any of its happiness buildings yet. We will take this caravan and send it from Addis Ababa to our capital. To war. A deal ends. Let's actually want some more horses. That is really surprising. But we'll take it. If we can use some of this gold to build a courthouse in La Libella, that will really help quite a lot. Courthouses are how much gold? We need another 389. That's going to be a lot of gold per turn. But sure. maybe we can do something where... Perhaps we give away all of our, like, horses for some gold. A bit. And then we can turn that gold into money. Like, straight up gold with Venice. Because Venice does have quite a lot of regular gold. So we'll give up like 10 gold per turn for like... Oh, we don't need to do it yet. So we'll wait a bit. Market's done here. Which means we can't build our ironworks because we need a workshop. It's not going to be long though. In the meantime, let's get a bank. Oh, no, we, did, we actually need the garden now. I literally said it, so we have to obey. Stable is a tile, but it is production. And production is one of those snowball resources. Now we've got ironworks. We can we can basically click on scientific theory. So we are just going to do that. Make life easy for ourselves. A couple of turns till this quarry is done. Yeah, we are going to keep having some serious happiness issues. 
not a lot left to improve in the Tillers Court now. We're not really going to need to work any tiles other than ones we've improved, so there's not even really any point in improving the rest. Sleep Jane Austen. Okay. If he wants us to renew this deal, I would rather have slightly better terms. <laughs> I've got, it's got to be said. Would rather have slightly better terms. I don't think it's going to be good, though. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to pay what we have to pay for this, sadly. Got a little bit cheaper. Sure. Yeah, we really need that courthouse because that's going to be costing us a lot of happiness in Lalabella. A lot of deals just came back. So let's go and trade away lots of stuff. See how much we can get away with here with Venice. So if we trade all this away for flat gold, we're going to be able to buy that courthouse outright in Lullabella, and that might just be what that city needs to improve. We only need how much more? 102. Yeah, let's get like let's give up like five gold per turn for 105 now to Venice, and we can. Oh, we're negative in gold per turn now. Are we really making that much money from just giving away our stuff to the AI? The answer is yes. <laughs> we definitely were. What's Montezuma want? Apparently one for two, because he's cool like that. Montezuma is going to single-handedly fix our gold problem. He's literally going to single-handedly fix our gold problem. Okay, and then Assyria wants horses. How much can we give these away for? Two for three? Yes. Two for three again. And we'll keep a couple. Oh, we didn't have any more giveaway anyway. And then Venice High, five gold per turn for 105 gold, please. Let's try to get 106. Yes. Courthouse, done. That's three happiness. And in a couple of turns time, we'll get this quarry done too. Okay. Gardens complete. Bank. Keep working on the gold. Temple. Maybe a market here. Because we are working some gold tiles. So why not? Tennis court, very nice. Very, very nice. Plus 21 food. It could do with having more, but you know what? It's already popped 21. We already have 73 population. It's turned 98. And we have this to be sent. So what's getting stuff right now? We've got two to Attila's Court, Lublin to Attila's Court, Hurrah to Attila's Court. This was also meant for Attila's Court. That was what was supposed to fix our food issue. So here we go. Now Attila's Court is up to 26.87 and that is perfect. Okay. So we've got a bit of happiness to go with. Oh. Oh. Okay. Measure what is measured. Poland's not at war with us. Got a great person. Rationalism. What do we do about this? I mean, the answer is... We had horse archers, these could become knights. And knights may just be enough to fend off a lot of what's going on. We have ten horses, but we need gold. Okay. Well, we're going to fix our happiness by doing this. So that's that. Now, how's Assyria doing just in general in life? They are still at war with the Aztecs, which is going to separate their stuff a bit. Why is Ethiopia joined in? Poland really covets our lands too. Right. Okay, well, one of the first things we could potentially do is upgrade for a load of horsemen. So how do we get that done? 
copper for how much gold? I know, like 300. Shouldn't work. 270. No, 250. I forget how much this is supposed to be. 240, 230, 220, 215, 210, to, I think, there's a, there's a correct number here and I don't actually remember it. 201, no, 205 horses. Or 200, okay. So that should give us enough to upgrade all of the, a couple of these to knights. Knights have 20 combat strength, so they'll be pretty good. So why don't we do that? Could actually do with a few more knights as well. We could do with another 200 gold. Very well. Theodora, what will you take for some horses? Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, another 100 gold from Venice here. Saluti. Vini vanti. Grab one more knight in. I guess we'll get this one until it's caught. And then we need to build some crossbowmen. Well, this is going to be exciting. Don't really need the garden. Don't really need the temple. We really need the market. Pikemen would be handy, but a crossbowman. We've already got a few melee units. Let's get some crossbowmen. The question is, what do we do with all of these units? Especially because Poland is tempted to declare war on us as well. This scout looks like it's not long for life. <laughs> yeah, it's not long for life. Can you declare war on somebody? He'll actually declare war on Ethiopia, but for a lot. We can't afford to give away anything, can we? The answer is, we can afford to give away the furs. Well, what's a better thing for you to declare war on? Can we get you to declare war on Assyria? <laughs> so much for that war, but we could pay for something. I mean, we need him in against Assyria. But I don't know that there's a way of getting that because we don't have any more horses to give away maybe we can work some more gold that could work cow's pretty good anyway so let's see what we can do in terms of gold cat doesn't need to be working that it can work that which is going to allow this city to work that We can do that. And then we could get Poland in against Assyria, potentially. So give away these three, because they're all duplicates, and then just see what works. Okay, nice. So Poland's in against Assyria now. I think we're going to be good. But that was a surprise. It's very cheeky of the AI to do that. We've kind of got no growth here. <laughs> Lumber mill, why not? Well, 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 I think. I mean, given that we're about an hour in now, this has been part of the mid-game, and it looks like we've got some more mid-game war for us. Well, I think we're going to get another couple of episodes out of this series, so... Um, I hope this was at least a decent guide on how to do like this initial mid-game push. We're running towards, basically, we've just been growing our cities like mad, talking a, a lot, a lot, a lot about working tiles with three plus food on them, get a minimum six, but you probably want at least eight, about making sure to work 10 to 12 tiles in all of your cities that have three or more combined of food and production before trying to work any settlers. We've talked about sending two to three caravans for food to your capital, and then sending a caravan for food to one or two of your next best expansion cities as well. We've done a little bit about make, maintaining happiness in an allied city-state. And in general, transitioning 
this empire from being an empire of cities that we've captured into one that has somehow managed to get 74 population by turn 99. And it's going to be 75 population by turn 100. Smashing through what we'd usually set up a benchmark of like probably 50-55 pop, honestly. In fact, you're probably looking for 50-55 pop on a four-city empire. So you're probably aiming for closer to 55-60 to 60 on a five-city one. And we've smashed straight through that. We've got 74. This empire is absolutely great. It's caught up on its build queue. And we are actually ready to kind of do some war again with Assyria, which we will now do. And, well, in the next episode, we'll see how it goes. We'd quite like to take Zurich. Not going to lie. <laughs> that looks like a good city up there. But that's for next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.